Hello, welcome back to the channel. Right again for another belting mooch. And uh, I'm quite local this time, we're in Douglas Valley. And we're going to a place called 20 Bridges. And that's where we'll be doing the wild camp for tonight. I'll uh, spin you around. Out again with our Paul, Paul Winston the Outdoors, and our Carl. He's also got a channel, but he's his music. Have a look at his Carl Winstanley. Here we are at the lesser bridge that used to be in this area. don't know this place and believe it or not even people who live in Wigan are not familiar that this place is here this is a little bit more impressive this is a 20 bridges spans the Douglas Valley so you can see we've reached the, uh, the entrance point to the 20 bridges Right, we are on the first section of it now, which is just made of bricks, brick arches. But as we get a bit further along and we actually span the Douglas Valley, it then changes to brick pillars with uh, big girders in between them. Don't know how high up we are here, but uh, I'll see if I can get that figure for when I put this video on. So. Trees on the first section, then clearing, a bit of trees in the middle, and then we're going over to the far side where it's trees again. Only because there's a, there's a bit of a bench there for sit on, so it's just convenient. Take you with us while we walk across this, and just take you to the edge here. We have been here before, but from the other side. They've shut off. Bit of a valley over there, some nice houses. But our residence for tonight is straight ahead. So this. I think is the halfway point. Seems big when you're down on the ground, but when you get up here, not that bad. And this is it, this is where we're going to be camping tonight. Just where this bench is here. Other people have been here, done a bit of a camp, but I ain't seen any videos so far. People on here. Back with you in a second. Absolutely roasting up here. Yeah. Did you buy some more boots? I've well, got some work boots, yeah. But I couldn't find any ones like that. They only had a few pairs in down New Town. I've got some brown ones, brown leather ones. Mm. 
Right, it's time for a beer. I've got some uh, hobgoblin ruby and a bottle of arnica. We're not having a, a daft drink tonight while we're up here. We've also got is that yours, Carl? That old goblin reaper. You are? Is that yours, that old goblin reaper? No, it's not. Well, then. We've got some toffee apple cider. I think you can only drink about one bottle of that, that's enough. Some gin there. What's that one? Marshmallow. Marshmallow. English cider. Could be mad in Marshmallow cider. Is that that cup what you use? Yeah. So Paul got his hammock set up. I'm going to set mine up later, probably across there. Right. Get a tripod set up because I'm going to try and catch you that sunset, which I think is going to be quite good. Nice. Nice little fire there. It's warm enough, isn't it? It's and your feet coming off it. You can realise that can go six inch wider, it's still alright. That's it. That crack's definitely got bigger. I don't know. Well, that'll be on videos to watch. Yeah. I don't know. I won't know. Right, food time. Nice enough for these Frankenfurter sausages. Recorded. Sada. Just drop a bottle of cider, 300 foot down the fucking viaduct. <laughs> right, we got some sausage pan. We've lost a few friends tonight. Yeah, One's a litre and a half of cider and a bottle of lager. 200 foot down. They've gone down there. Over edge. Your hammock's over there, Paul. Yeah, right. I'm going to get my sleeping bag for tonight. Right. And we'll see you tomorrow. Down there is half a bottle of cider and a frying pan from last night. <laughs> I remember the cider going, I don't remember the frying pan going. And there's a bottle of beer down there with ours as well.
Right, that's the camp over and done with. We're just going to go down into the valley now and have a look at it from the opposite side. As I said before, we have visited here. We've never been up top before. But we have been down in the valley from the uh, Leyland Mill Road side. Yeah, look at these two blocks they've been here. They've, they've got to have been holes that have appeared, haven't they? They've just capped them yeah. up. Yeah. They've just capped them over, haven't they? Or did they used to have access points? They've got to get onto girders underneath. Maybe. Yeah, but... yeah I, reckon they, I reckon they'd have been hatches there if I get onto girders, you know, for servicing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they would have swapped over here. I think there's just been two tracks in and out. One. Water level will be low now, won't it? Being summer. Mm, Just sort of slow your progress. I know. Yeah. Well, for whispers coming off it. There's one there where that white bit is which caught somebody's clothing. Somebody's had a proper camp down here. What? Somebody's had a proper camp down here, haven't they? Big fire there. Yeah. You can see that this arch and the next arch is quite crumbler. And that people have been down here having a good camp because there's chairs and everything here. No, I'd, I'd had a proper camp down here. The man is all still there, far left, isn't it? Not very industrial, but. I don't know if it sounds like it's coming back with me. Them coronavirus ones. That's one who's had a proper camp down here, hasn't he? And that chair's coming back with me as well. <laughs> Yeah. 
Right, you see, you're there, about here, you'll be young kid. Just having a small thing, right, innit? Oh, I'll cut me sat round, it's banging it or whatever. Yeah, it's not a bench there. I know, I know, I could have dragged these up, couldn't I? And then be it. Yeah, nobody comes down here proper, do they? No proper pass. Yeah. What about coming, going down a bit, Paul? Yeah, you get over that. Yeah. I'll show you now from the grain level where we was last night. That will be fit now? Yeah. That's where we did our wildcat last night, on the top of the... To the side of Dougie, yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah, that log's down there, isn't it? Stick over to the side, but it's on this side as well. We don't want to cross over either. But we have to cross over at some point, but we need to be on this side as well. Yeah, it's had drain pipes on at one point, hasn't it? Oh, yeah, you need a, a steadying stick, don't you? Walk over that. What that? Yeah. Over that log thing. Yeah, yeah walk over that. You straight in. Been across it, haven't Yeah. Yeah, you can always drive around Layla Mill Lane, can't you? And take a walk up. Yeah. I'm not overly bothered about the frying pan. Yeah. Chipping. Yeah, the further up that way, where that path continues there. Yeah, up there. there. Yeah, that, uh, that archway's definitely been weakened a bit there. All the edge crumbling off it. Make our way back up that uh, that slope there. Retrieve our bags. No, we just popped our heads over the side there. Camera. But it's down there. Left kind of a shaft. So there's no way we can't walk past that without looking what it is. All right. Wish we'd spotted this a bit since when we was down here, but we've come back down.
been mad in it, dark in it, what, going through Mooch down here, and not seeing that. Any others? Yeah, make sure you don't stand on anything. Yeah, it's water. Mm. I've been back here. Mm. He's probably not going down here. It's not that deep down, is it? Uh, you know, you can hear water at the bottom of it. See water at the bottom of it. Who's that one? Good morning, that's a wild camp over with. I don't know what we're planning next. I think we're going to Wales. What next trip? Don't know where yet. So, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.